Once again, it's Double XL in your face. As usual, proudly powered by Uganda Telecom. It's all about you and Air Uganda. Great service and definitely good value for money. Chiri Chitia, let's find out what's on this week's menu. is all out and they do the close up on their lips you, you feel like vomiting hi ladies yeah. i'm gonna run yo this is mega master mix alex you know me dance force uh well we've just finished with nominations the nomination is closed on june 12th and we've been able to get <laughs> Good to have you on this week's uh, edition of Double uh, XL and uh, the Glass House. This week, I chill out with my brother. Yeah? <laughs> nice <singing>. <laughs> no, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice thing again. Nice thing yes. again. Yes, uh, I, I read your articles, by thank the way. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank good you. stuff. Uh, thank you. First of yeah. all, uh, album launches. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're a music critic. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Here in Uganda, album launches have a different meaning. You have there are like three thousand people who come. Then during the album launch, they'll call up the mother. Tima, hey, mama, wa, 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 si makula, va, yeah. then the mother kneels down. People come give her five thousand. You know, they they, they 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 auction portraits of, the, of themselves with dreadlocks. The CDs. And... Uh, see, see, the, actually, they, they, they auction like one CD at yeah. ten million. Mm -hmm. I'm told that the guy who buys it ten million gives her here one million cash and no move anger for like four months. So it's, it's <laughs> so usually it, a hoax. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's weird, but but yeah. but uh, one one thing that that has been interesting of late is that 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 the idea of getting two artists and they they do album launches on the same date. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Now yes. it's a serious money maker. It shows it shows the, the level at which Ugandan music has reached. The, the ability the ability of Baby Cool and Bobby Wine pulling in those number of fans. So one, it is a litmus test of, of the Ghana music scene and it is good. It passes the test. Mm -hmm. But uh, for a music lover, a, a, a true music lover, that is a big hoax. Then we have uh, issues where we have good songs, mm. as in audio, mm. and then you have a disappointing video. Mm. Music artists here in Uganda are obsessed with making videos. Even my house girl at home, if they got into music, she would borrow one million shillings to make a video. <laughs> they, they believe that a video sells a song. So they'll do anything to, to get a video out. And it should be the reverse. If you're again to look, to, if you had to look at Mario Winans, uh, that, that hit song he had. Um, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. It was actually on, on a mixtape. You understand? Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, mixtape. Yeah. It started like that. It became a hit in the clubs. Do you understand? Then it was released. Then a video came, came out. That. It, it's yeah. a process. Mm -hmm. you, you get me? So the song should first be accepted by people. That, ah, man, there's this song which is played on... This FM, have you yes. had this song in the club? It, then it, it, it gets that, that prominence. Then a video comes, comes out. out. So these people rush to make videos. That's why they come out uh, rubbishly. They don't have the money. You, you, you get me? Mediocre. They, yeah, yeah. They don't have the money, uh, but they think that if I release this this video, my song will, mm -hmm. will, will hit. Mm -hmm. but, but in a way, I also don't blame them because that's what Ugandan mentality is. As soon as they hear a song, hey, it's a video from a D. So there's that pressure on, on the mm -hmm. on the artist mm -hmm. to, to satisfy the Ugandan. Then one thing about music videos, is it mm -hmm. is it about the money or uh, the creativity? For me, I think I'll go with creativity. Creativity. Mm, not the money. The, the, the Ugandan video nowadays is so huge. It used to be rubbish. Uh, they, they are rubbish, my God. Like 10 years ago. Now they are, they are quite good. But there's one thing which, which really features most of them, the, the richness of color. Now they believe that having, you know, this, yeah, this color where well, you know, the lip, lipstick is all out yeah. and they do the close up on their lips, you, you feel like vomiting. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they believe you mm, and, and they have these two girls trying to check them. Uh, yeah. Beyonce, the yeah. girl has no, she has no butt. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, you understand? They do not believe that keeping it simple with, with great graphics. It actually works. Actually, look at the way these white people do their videos, this funny rock. This dude is just walking with a guitar mm -hmm. and what. They don't involve the big butts and what. But we very have, simplified. Yeah, yeah but, but very nice. Very, mm -hmm. And we can actually do them here in Uganda. And then uh, taking a look at uh, the level at which uh, the industry is uh, mm -hmm. right now, the music industry, vis-a-vis mm -hmm. uh, -vis management. Mm -hmm. Are we at a level where we can say, these guys actually need proper managers? No, they, they, Are uh, they manageable? No, the, the artists, 
don't don't even not spoil the word management. Management mm -hmm. is huge. Management is winning you contracts with actually banks to represent banks. Management is is winning you contracts for advertisement. Management is winning you contracts with UNICEF. Do you understand? Endorsements. Endorsements. Oh, it's, a, it's a huge, it's a huge thing. You understand? Actually, an artist can live off one track yeah, if they have a very clever manager. But these people just believe a Chigunda. Can I get Robert Karumba, the artist, on a, 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 a mbu, tukizi a mbu, tukizi a mbu, tukizi on, you understand? So mm -hmm. can I get Robert Karumba? It stops there. Man managing the artist stops there. But I, I believe management as a concept is, is huge. And then in terms of uh, uh, social responsibility? They, they don't, that, that word is even too, too hard. <laughs> no, I'm not this. Are, are they doing enough? I'm not this things. Uh, uh, social responsibility, uh, hell no, they're, they're not doing enough. Let me give a very good example. Um, AIDS is one of the most, it has ravished Africa, actually, it's synonymous. So say Africa, it's AIDS. Do you understand? I have never seen an artist can go, they do funny songs here and there, but they don't do a lot. There is huge poverty. Bududa was a, was a very good example. Bududa, even CNN, it made news. But tell me a concert which came out. The Weasels tried to put up something which was basic. Actually, me, I was told by a big artist, I won't mention the name, that one of the problems why they didn't do a huge concert is because of the bickering within the artists. Mm. They were wondering that, oh, if Bush Baby is to headline the artist, Robert will not participate. Yeah. Or if Robert is going to headline this Bududa concert, I will not participate. They have those, they're kiddish. Uh, the benefits, they're, yes. they're, 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 they're very many. One, yeah. it really shows you that you care. But that's number one. Number two, it, 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 uh, it, it makes your brand even more attractive. You, you understand? Number three, money. These people believe in money. Uh, recently, one of your articles, uh, you, you, you tackled the language. Mm, Luganda. Yes. yes yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The article was about um, uh, as a factor. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Does it does 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 the song have to be sung in Luganda mm -hmm. for it to be a hit? Because Jesus, you, you go you go to a kasiki to a nightclub. The DJ of us spin cassette pitchy from cassette pitchy Katala from Katala. Uh, Basimo Geze from Basimo Ge. Nienda maso. Nienda maso. Uh, oh, and you see all these blue chicks pointing up in the sky. Nienda maso. Yeah, then chloroquine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> man. And the, the most funny thing is that even the likes of Tina Tine, yes. who are Banyang who are okay, yes. Westerners, yes. are even forced to sing in Luganda so that they can, they can, they can like, I think, assimilate and what. Mm. So one, one, one wonders whether. Uh, you have to sing in Luganda, and that has been, in this is, this is my view, that has been uh, forced upon people mainly by radio FMs. You know, radio FMs always, uh, always switch people to, to, to what they want you to listen to. You understand? So if I play stamina from A to Z, um, people love stamina. You understand? But I wish these radio FMs could diversify. I wish they could allow Susan Kerunin. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, Loko Cha. I don't know what Loko Cha means. It's in a lot, but beautiful song. I wish they, they, could, they, they could get these songs from Busoga. Good songs. Play them. G give them the same rotation you give these other songs. Yeah, you understand? Because in Uganda, we have like 40 languages, isn't it? So how comes? I know Luganda is mainly spoken here. I know, yes. yes. But it is, I don't want to use the word unfair, but it becomes... It does not represent well the Uganda. Secondly, you're even narrowing the Uganda music scene. You're narrowing it down to Uganda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is wrong. But Pastor Kudi, Pastor Kudi, what song? Lipolo. Lipolo or yeah. Lipolo. It even won an award. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh. It won an award. That wasn't in Uganda, but it was a good song and the FMs played it. Uh, Obanga Ina. You understand? I am very sure that uh, Obangaina, there are very many hundreds of Obangainas in, in, okay, songs of the similar genre, but the FMs need to give them a chance. And maybe as we wind up earlier on, you know, off camera, you, you also have issues with, with uh, Patwa and uh, the Pigeon? Yeah, the, the, the guys who speak. Yes. Uh, now, 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 <laughs> now, I don't know if I'm allowed to, to, to do this, but I live in Nadia. Hmm? I'm about to call Kaihura. There's, there's a forest nearby. Now, one time I had noise in the background. Mm -hmm. -ba 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 -ba. I'm thinking, Jesus, are these guys <laughs> ka, 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 a shrine be yeah. yes, yes. So I, I, I go, I walk, I walk, I walk. I find young kids, they were like 15. Bri ba ba ba. So I ask these kids, Mkodachi, mm -hmm. Chichi, mm -hmm. I have to work out sounding like a chameleon, like a Jamaican. Chameleon does not sound like a Jamaican. I have a white friend. The white friend used to always say that these Ugandan artists, they sound Jafekans. <laughs> they like faking it that they are Jamaican. So I wish, and the most funny thing is that they, 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 they speak the language like, 
Eh? Bamba clad, you know, me, me, me wagwan. Eh? But, <laughs> but when the phone rings, yes. she got your gun, but you're going to have one. One, I can't say, why do you come for the, the, the way they, they... Yes, it flips. Yeah, the way so they, you would expect, you know, the Luganda to have some wagwan in it. And, yeah, thank you. Yes, I mean, yeah. you understand? So, I, I don't know why they, they like faking it. I don't know why they like... They, they even fake the dreads. They, they even fake... Someone like... Uh, Butcher man. Yes. Jesus Christ. Eh? <laughs> I was trying to be like Buju Bantu. Yes. Buju would kill you if you came down here and looked at Butcher man trying to, to fake it. Buju would kill the guy. Yes. The guy, he, he, you know, the guy talks like, you know, eh? me wagwan. Eh? You know, it really, really gets on. You know what? I won't stress, man. It has been <laughs> to come here, to come here. I need to have you back next week. Ne yeah. Look yeah, out yeah. for this guy again next week on the show, <laughs> The Glass House. Good stuff, good stuff, my brother. And uh, thank, thank you so you. much for your time. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right about now, it's official. The uh, Double XL merchandise is officially out. Very nice, uh, stylish, uh, you know, uh, t shirts. Uh, quality. The, the print is really quality. And uh, you, of black course, you, can, black. you can see yeah, House of Talent, you know, at the back. And of course, uh, I want to give one of you a chance to win this really nice uh, quality wear. Kalumba, do the honors. The question is very simple here. Do you have to sing in Luganda to be a hit in Kampala? Ka ka can you really be a hit if you sing in Lusoga? Can people accept you? So try and uh, if you think you have the most thoughtful, insightful, dope answer, you send it to the guys of... The uh, SMS line, you know, below, below the screen, I'm sure you can you. see that. Thank yes, you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, and do you, that you right win now. yourself a, you a win. classy t-shirt. Hi, ladies. I'm gonna run to a very beautiful...